regardless of what you feel about the player, we still got work to do. Let's get into the game session, man. Today, we're looking at Tyler Smith, the uh, offensive lineman from um, Tulsa, left tackle the Dallas Cowboys, take him at 24th overall. I like to start these film sessions off with, um, you know, just a highlight of the player to get a good feel for who they are. Now, don't get this mistake, this is a Vach Lombardi film session, so yes, there will be a highlight, but at the end of the film, we'll be talking about some negatives and we'll be talking about general fit. So we got a lot of information in this video, stay tuned. But I think for the most part, this is what Tyler Smith is. He's gonna be the left tackle for the duration of the film session. I think he's a player that's super unrefined and he doesn't really have the uh you know the the some of the hips the the traits that you would expect from a tackle in the national football league which is why i think he's a guard that would end up being a developmental tackle now in my personal opinion i think he's going to be a guard for the rest of his career um but that's just my personal opinion even on this play, right? Just imagine if he was a guard. If he's a guard, he's going to be fighting in a phone booth. He's not going to be doing very much uh, work on an island, right? Hey, get get locked into your position, and that's going to be a big thing for Tyler, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later when we talk about techniques and things like that. Getting locked into a position, into a proper offensive line position. So let's start right We're not, not there. Right there. That's kind of where we want Tyler to be. We want knees bent. We want hands inside, right? We want you driving. We want feet movement. That's what we want. Um, but you saw that it kind of took him a little bit to get there, right? Because he's not a refined player. And when you're not a refined player, it's going to be harder for you to exist at tackle, which is why he's probably going to be a guard uh, for Dallas. And I think Dallas drafted him, you know, to, to, to be like a day one type of guy. I don't think they look at Conor McGovern as an option for left guard right now. You know, so when you watch the film, you would say, well, Vach, what makes people believe that he could be a tackle? Well, take a look at plays like this, right? Like, this is some pretty good pass setting right here, right? Take a look at his feet. Take a look at his hips. You know, he's kind of high. You would want some more knee bend, but that's what comes with, you know, blocking on an island. Take a look at the hands, right? You, it, It's really just the consistencies with Tyler is what you really want him to, to get reined in. He does give you good tackle plays. Not consistent at it. In which you would hope that if he's playing guard, he would give you some more of this consistency, right? Whenever he gets to get hands on guys quickly, like in this situation, bow, right? That's when we see, um, you know, good technique from Tyler, not when he has to wait around and read and react to people, you know? I'm going to show one more good play from Tyler Smith, and then we're going to beat up on him for a little bit. Take a look at your left tackle here. If you can get this every single play, man, hey, man, you, 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 you win. If you can get this dude, and, and it comes down to coaching, it comes down to, you know, the work in the offseason, the offseason peanut butter, it may take a, a year or so to really get him to where you want him to be, right? But if we can get this dude every single play, we can work on the consistency to get just, hey, drive this dude, destroy him, put him in the ground. That's what we want from you. If we can get that guy every play, man, you know, we win. And we don't have to worry about whether we think he was overdrafted or not. So I would be phony if we got up here and we only said good things about Tyler Smith, right? Vach isn't phony. Vach wants to hit y'all with the real. Um, I think a lot of his, you know, he. so when you see people talk about Tyler Smith on the internet, they're talking about the holding calls, right? I think the holding calls come from him wanting to just destroy people so bad, right? Take a look at him at left tackle here. If you just remotely beat him just a little bit, he doesn't know how to recover just yet. And this, all, this is all about nuances, it's all about consistency, right? Just technique and certain things like that. There's a way to recover from losing this step, right? Like if you um, get a little pressure to the outside and, you know, someone crosses your face and, you know, they beat you like that, there's a way to recover from that. You really just want to slip that right arm, uh, try to try to find the armpit and, you know, pound that post foot back inside. That's what you would want to do. Um, but instead, Tyler just shifts a bunch of body weight and that would be a holding call in the National Football League, right? Just trying to get so much of that angry energy off on on his opponent and I think we have to rein that back in order to you know get you know full control of the player without having to get penalties every play so another one of uh you know Tyler Smith's you know deficiencies or whatnot is it, and this is a tackle problem right not a guard problem but a tackle problem is sometimes he'll get overset a little bit and you know you may overset because you're the c-gap guy so he's basically responsible for his left foot to the sideline basically that's not going to be a problem at guards. You only want to set as wide as your left tackle is. But right now, he's at tackle. It's just more so of a reason why I don't think he's a tackle. He'll he'll just commonly overset just be, you know, and it could be confidence in his feet or whatnot. But if he's oversetting, then the inside move is going to be wide open for you every time, and that's no fun. 
Uh, so, like I said, you you fix this problem by just not putting them at tackle anyway in the first place. And this is another holding call that he gets right here, or it would be a holding call on the next level. And it simply comes from like body positioning, right? Like he's 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 really lined up um, to where he's striking like the outside shoulder of that um, of that tackle that he's going up against. He, you know, he needs to get his head on the other side of him. But since he left so much of his right side open, then that defensive tackle beats him. And when he, he doesn't take getting beat very well because he's still trying to explode people. So instead of the proper technique to deal with losing this battle, instead he just tries to whoop somebody and that's how he ends up holding so hey you know if you just look at um you know tyler Smith's player you know he's a he's a wild man he's a wild man but you see the traits so we talk about raw players we talk about trace players we talk about developmental guys he's definitely one of these dudes is he ready to play tackle for you fresh out the box absolutely not i think this is like a three to four year project for that dude in real life you know we're cowboy fans here talking you know you may be more inclined to put Terrence Steele at left tackle than to put Tyler Smith at left tackle. I just don't think Tyler is a tackle at all. But as a guard, I think you're on to something. Do I like the pick? Hey man, I think it was better. It was better players on the board. I think you you would have been fine with Carl Loftus. You would have been fine with you know N'Kobe Dean or I, I would have taken David Ajabo. Um, but you know, if the Cowboys felt like hey they really needed a guard. And they felt like it's time to get a guard now because they felt like Travis, no, not Travis, Tyler. They felt like Tyler wasn't going to be around. They felt like some of the other guards that they may have liked, whether it be Ed Ingram, Jamar Salyer, whether it be Darian Kennard, maybe they thought those guys weren't going to be around. So it feels like a reach, and it is, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't have taken him. I wouldn't have taken Tyler right there. It feels like a reach. Um, but if they wanted to just try to be responsible and address the need before the need got too bad, then it makes a little bit of sense to me. But uh, I'm not drafting. It is the Cowboys. Now, just because the player was maybe a, a late second round player on my board, just because I think the player was overdrafted, does, I, does that mean I think the player's bad? No, because there's players in the fifth round that I think that could be good players for you. Um, just watching Tyler Smith, you know, it's, it's just going um, to take some time to really tame that horse. Uh, but that's what, you're, that's what you're hoping for. That's what you're hoping that the the upside of it is for if you can if you can tame that dude and just bring him down a little bit not be a wild man not to be so extra uh when you're trying to whoop people during the play um i think you'll you'll have a damn good guard for you but you know you got to work on some of those technical things you got to work on hand placements you got to work on hey what happens if this happens don't overreact don't panic don't just try to smoke people you got to figure things out um and we'll cross that road when he gets there uh when we get there do i think he's going to be an instant starter over um uh connor mcgovern i think so i think he's going to come in day one and be a left guard for you and look to be fair man I've, you know, been upset about picks that have worked out with this, organ with this organization. My team just doesn't, you know, they didn't roll out the bed this morning and just forgot how to draft. I think they like the player. And I think they had their reasons for taking them. You understand? It's just, um, you know, hey, we live and die by this, by this, by this draft board, bro. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Um, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Be sure to tune in Monday through Friday uh, at 3 p.m. Central for all of our content where we go live. Um, and follow us on Twitter and follow me on Twitter, Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. And, um, hey, whenever we do the uh, day two reaction, we'll be doing that. And we're going to get two more film sessions for the second and third round pick. Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Wilson, the Peace, Whiskey, man. Volume.